What's up guys? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. If this is your first time joining us, my name's Matt. Currently loaded up in my uh, international 10-ton dump truck here, pulling into the stone quarry. If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that uh, I have some property and I've been putting a driveway on it for the better part of a year and a half now. Because the driveway is just so long, it's uh, very expensive to complete. So when I have the time and the money and the stars all align, I usually work on it. But the big exciting news today is I'm finishing this thing finally. I've decided, screw it. I'm just busting it out, dig deep in those tight pockets of mine, and uh, finish this driveway out. The good news for you guys about that is after I have this thing in completely all the way back to my shipping container shop, that means I'll have easier access to work on the auto car project, which is the reason a lot of you are here. If you haven't seen the auto car project, I have a 1957 auto car that I'm trying to restore one of these days, and there's several videos on the channel on it. I'll uh, put a little card up here or uh, whatever side it's on. And if you don't see it, just check the channel page. You won't miss it. There's a whole playlist on it. Anyways, to finally finish this project out, we've got a couple trees to take down. We've got a bunch of topsoil to strip. We've got a bunch of fabric to lay out and a bunch of stone to haul. So let's get to it. Good morning, guys. Up early today, up before the sun. Fixing to hop into the dump truck here and we're gonna be uh, hauling rock all day. Go ahead and check the fluids. What do you think, buddy? Huh? What? Is it early? Yeah. Are we going to wake the neighbors up with the dump truck? Probably. That's fine. They need to get up earlier. Come on. <laughs> right on the full mark. Couldn't be better. opens at 7 and it's 701 and it appears I'm the first one here I've beat the employees so I think they're still having some sort of safety meeting so hopefully they get reloaded soon
All right, so this big wheel loader, uh, it's well suited to quickly push off these piles. It makes quick work of it for sure. But I can't do as nice and neat a job with it as I can the skid steer. So I'm just going to knock the piles down with this thing, and then I'll come back with the skid steer and fine tune it up. See, like I got rocks spilling over the edges both places there. So I can take the skid steer and pull that back up and uh, spread it out a little bit nicer. That thing's good for like a final back drag and make sure it's all nice and smooth. Uh, I could pull those edges back with that big machine, but what I'd end up doing is just tearing up everything around it. So in the spirit of not trying to make a bigger mess, I'm going to use the skid steer. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you'll know that I've built this entire driveway just using the skid steer there. That's what spread all this rock out. I did Well, I did use the dozer a little bit, I guess, in the beginning. And I have the same problem with the dozer as I do with this big wheel loader. The bucket or the blade on the dozer is so wide that when you start pushing a pile like this, it spills over both sides and goes off the edges of our road fabric here. And with the, the clay the way it is here on my property, you might as well say that any rock that isn't on top of that fabric is pretty much wasted. I mean, it'll pack in and eventually, you know, you could build up a base on it. But really, I'm just trying to keep the rock on the fabric. So to be 
the most economical i'm going to switch back to using just the skid steer because i can control it better and keep it on the fabric Okay, as you guys have seen, it's been less than ideal conditions. I'm laying rock down on top of it. It's kind of kind of wet, you know, so uh, the rock's kind of pumpy and lumpy, and I'm going to try to get it to lay down flat using the, uh, the roller here. I'm going to static roll it, it's called, which is basically just dead weight, um, no vibration, so I'm not even running the roller. Uh, the reason you don't want to vibrate right now in wet conditions is because it's just like when you vibrate concrete. You start vibrating, which does pack the rock good, but it also brings all the water to the surface, which will just make more mud underneath of our rock. So we don't want to do that. We'll just take, take our time, do some more passes with the roller, and uh, pack it in good with just some dead weight. Right, that looks a lot better let me get down low here so you guys can hopefully tell that roller really did a good job it flattened everything out uh, he was able to use the tractor wheel on this side to try to create a little bit of a ditch there and hopefully that'll help water run this way and not lay underneath the driveway so as I was driving the tractor on there I could still see the whole driveway is still pumping uh, if you're not familiar with that term, it means like uh, if you watch somebody drive across a soft area with rock on it, the whole area around them will kind of move a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like a bowl full of jello. In the construction industry, that's called pumping. And unfortunately, in my case, there's not really anything I could do about that right now. Um, in a big job like building highways or something, they'd cut all this out down to good hard dirt and then uh, put rock back on top of it. But that is not feasible with my budget. Time has finally come after over a year of me slowly chipping away at this expansive driveway project of mine. This tree has been the end point for the straight part of the driveway for the entire project. And the reason I picked it is because it was just kind of the general area where I wanted my future house and garage to be. And it's a big dead tree and I didn't mind taking it out and now we're at that stage so it's kind of sketchy because the limbs up there are pretty pretty much uh, toast so one good whack and that big limbs could shear off and come down and hit you um, undecided whether I want to try to push it over with the big loader or dig around it and push it over with the excavator I have better control with the excavator uh, but I'm a little more vulnerable in the excavator too. If that limb would come down, it's going to damage the machine a lot more than it would that loader. Anyways, enough John. Let's do something and hope we don't get dead.
All right, so it's the next morning. I got two more loads of stone here, one on the truck, one on the ground. And we have got enough material to bring us down here and make the turn. Um, but we need to get the dozer out real quick and start cutting all the topsoil off of this. All right, guys, well witnessed by the state of this road, I am not the world's best dozer hand. I kind of feel embarrassed every time I get on the thing on camera because uh, I can do better on a more modern dozer, but you know, my own personal dozer kind of wore out. It's got the old controls, it's a little harder to control. I've got way more time in a modern dozer, but uh, still not the greatest there either. I'm more of an excavator guy. But anyway, it started to rain. I know you probably can't tell on camera, so I hurried up and took the roller and tried to seal everything up. It's definitely got some lumps and bumps in it still, but I just wanted to hurry up and get it sealed up before the water got to it. But it's not too bad. I'll uh, probably touch up just a few little spots of the skid steer and call it done. Uh, all the topsoil on the uphill side there, I'm gonna go ahead and pile it up with the skid steer and I'll stay off of this grade too.
It has been literally years in the making to get this driveway to this point. And I've just tied in the last section. We're right here at the shipping container shop. And it feels really nice to have a way in and out of here if, uh, if it's raining. Because my ground is such that if it's wet, you're just going to get stuck. It's a mud hole. In the middle of the summer, maybe you can get by with running on it a little bit if it's been raining. But any other time of year, forget it. The crane truck was kind of in the way or I would have graded this stone down a little bit further and uh, when I get the truck out of the way I'll get some more loads and make this whole area rock right here and eventually all these trees right here will be coming out and I'll have a nice big uh, lay down yard here. Uh, the carburetor's off the truck right now, that's why I can't move it. But look at that beautiful ribbon of limestone guys. Oh, it's been a long time coming let me tell you that long time coming this section right here there were some stump holes that were pumping pretty bad I'm confident that I'm gonna have to readdress that area a couple times as the year goes on here uh, I, I still have to top coat the entire thing I'd like to find asphalt millings if at all possible uh, but I want to wait to top coat it until all this new rock that I've put in here is really packed in and all the stump holes settle out of it and low spots show themselves so I can fix all that before I put the top coat on. So I'm about to go get my measuring wheel and I'm going to measure from the road all the way down to the shipping container shop. And you guys got to tell me down in the comments how many feet you think it is. It's one long driveway, I can tell you that much. Well guys, it's the next day. No, I'm not lying. It's it's the next day. Yesterday was like uh, mid 60s during the day and today it's it's snowing. Yeah. Welcome to Pennsylvania weather. Anyway, got my fancy dancy measuring wheel here. We're going to start up the road right now and we're going to walk all the way down to the container shop and see exactly how long this driveway is. I'm uh, curious for my own sake. I really I got an idea, but I'm not sure. So let's get going. that was a long haul I had to switch hands three times where are we at right there looks like 1847 feet man well when I have kids and I tell them they have to shovel the driveway they are not gonna be happy anyways guys I think that's about the last you're gonna see of the driveway for a little while anyways once we get uh, old Christine my motor grader put back together then I'll be bringing in some material and we'll do a nice top coat with some finer material on top. That'll help lock everything together better as well as uh, make it a lot smoother to ride on. But anyways, if you like the video, if you like extreme swings and Pennsylvania weather conditions, go ahead and click the like button. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe so I can see you on the next video. As always guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.